Hi, my name is Emily, and my two words are judgmental and surrendered. I did not grow up in a Christian home, and it wasn't until high school when I started questioning whether God existed or not. And that's because I had lots of Christian friends who would bring up the subject often. They would invite me to church and try to start conversations um, about my beliefs. Um, But I often avoided the subject and gave excuses on why I couldn't go to church with them. And that's because I didn't want to conform to their beliefs. And I didn't want to say I believed in God just to be accepted by my friends. Um, But they were persistent, and I ended up going to church, and I heard all of the wonderful stories that Jesus did, all of the miraculous acts, and I learned that God wanted a relationship with me, and I thought to myself, well, that sounds great, but do you exist, God? Um, Do I believe in that? I had no idea, and the problem was I would look at all of my Christian friends and would see all of their brokenness. Um, I would think, well, Jesus did all these wonderful things, but you're doing all of these terrible things. And I looked down on them, and I judged them, and I put them beneath me. And it wasn't until a specific night where all my Christian friends stood up in front of everybody else and gave their testimonies and were vulnerable and honest And they shared their brokenness with everyone. And that was just a huge eye-opener for me. Um, And they explained that the reason that they can get through their sin is only through Jesus. Jesus died on the cross to save them from those sins. And that way we can have a relationship with God. And that just clicked with me. I said, that's what I want. Um, And that changed my view of God. And I told Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Um, Take my judgmental self, all of me, all of my brokenness, and it's yours. And that's when I gave my life to Christ. Uh, I still struggle with sin every single day, but my imperfections are something that I can work through with Jesus. So thank you for watching my video, and those are my two words.